Tomatoes are sprayed with a pesticide fertilizer mix. The figures below give the yield of tomatoes per bush for various spray concentrations. So we've got our independent variable, the spray concentration, the, the X values, which is in milliliters per two liters. So per how many milliliters of the um, chemical that we're spraying per um, liter of the actual thing, the, the whole liquid got some numbers for that and then you've got your dependent variable on the y-axis if we were to draw a scatter graph yield of tomatoes per bush as in how many tomatoes do you get from the bush when you've sprayed that much on it so there's the table we have been asked to calculate the equation of the linear regression line so the line of best fit using technology so we need to go to statistics mode and we need to put in all the x values in list one so we go menu stat if you've got other lists in here, clear them. I've thankfully got them cleared already. So you put all your X values in list one and all your Y values in list two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And for the yield of tomatoes, forty-five. 76, 93, 105, 119, and 124. So we've got all those in. Now, remember, if you were asked for the mean point, you, you don't actually go to the same place I'm about to go now. So remember, for mean point, we're on calc, and we're on 2 var. So that would give you your mean X of 7 and your mean Y of 93.7. Um, what we actually do here, we don't want two variable statistics. We want um, reg for regression. So we're going straight to reg and we need to tell it what type of regression it is. Now, um, we've done this before in sequences that you want X regression. So that, that's basically linear regression. If you compare it to the others, this is like a x squared regression, quadratic regression, this is a cubic regression and so on. We want the first one, x. And it's telling us everything we need to know here. So if you just look at the bottom, y equals ax plus b. So we have the equation of a line is y equals ax plus b. It tells us the value of a and it tells us the value of b. So if you are not told um, Otherwise, you should always give these to three significant figures. So A equals 7.657. So I'm going to set 7.66 to three significant figures. And B equals 40.0666. We'll call it 40.1. Which must mean, well, if Y equals AX plus B, Y equals A, 7.66, X plus B, 40.1. Right, I'd just like to direct your attention to another thing. Now, now correlation coefficients are not actually in the IGCSE course. They probably should be. But correlation is, and as in, is it, is it positive, is it negative, is it strong, is it weak, is it moderate, is it linear? That sort of thing is in there. So if you can see this R value is your correlation coefficient. R has a maximum value of 1, a minimum value of y at minus 1. So... Um, a correlation coefficient of 1 means perfect positive correlation. So this is quite close to 1. It's 0 0.969, I suppose. So that's indicating that there are there is a very, very strong positive linear association between these two variables. So very useful number. You'll you use it a lot more in the IB actually formally, but it's good to know what it is anyway. But yes, yeah, as far as just the regression line, y equals 7.66x plus 40.1.